Hello students, Michael Sanchez here. Thank you so much for watching. Today is Homeschool Monday, every Monday at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, teaching a class uh, kind of targeted at the homeschool um, realm. And uh, we don't have a ton of homeschoolers on the class yet, but hopefully soon we will uh, have some great ideas on how to expand this uh, eventually once we get the word out to some homeschool families and such. Uh, definitely tell your friends and everybody about the class. It's a great opportunity uh, for free lessons and uh, um, the opportunity to ask questions and learn about the, more about the violin. We have a great class in store for you today. We have uh, five students that are here today, and they're going to participate in some discussion. I'm going to be talking about some different activities that uh, are out there potentially for musicians, uh, particular violinists, uh, including orchestra and other various activities uh, that I can give you guys some ideas on. And also, I, I'm interested in just getting to know you guys more and hearing what you're interested in, what your goals are, so that I can help you down that path and answer any questions you might have. So let's uh, introduce each student. Uh, first, we have Adeline from Germany. Adeline, how, how are things going over there? Is it nice and cool or warm? How is it over there? Yeah, hi. It's, um, it's cold here, but not too cold. It's, it's OK. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. Is there any snow or not quite yet? Uh, not quite yet, but I wish there would be snow. <laughs> so. Oh, wow, yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> I like it for the first day, and then I'm pretty much done with it. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. Um, Debbie, how are you doing today? I uh, heard you were watching some of my classes last night. Which ones did you end up watching? I watched you play uh, two Christmas songs, Silent Night, and, and I forget what the other one was, and you had a... A, a Jingle Bells. You had a young male student with you. He was playing. And then I watched you do the scales, the, the D and the A. Several. Several. Cool. Yeah, and if any of you guys are interested in checking out my lessons, I have a ton of videos on YouTube. I have about 600 total that I've done over the years since I uh, was at my mom's uh, doing videos in her basement back about five years ago. Um, and uh, if you're interested in some of those, uh, you can check them out at uh, youtube.com slash violin tutor pro. A lot of great lessons out there. Since then, I've done a lot of improving of video and uh, you know some HD lessons and such, so definitely check them out. We also have with us Mark from uh, Florida. How's things going down in the uh, Sunshine State? Uh, it's very cloudy today. It's nice. So, uh, but it's probably in the 70s, I'm guessing, right? Or is it actually in the 80s? It's like 74. <laughs> okay, that's very, very nice. Uh, I, if, I w if it was 74 here, I would be teaching, a, teaching this class outside, that's for sure. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> I miss golfing. I'm a big golfer, and uh, I always like to play, you know, when it's nice out. And uh, obviously, I won't have that for a while, so. Yes. <laughs> if you golf. Uh, I highly recommend you to get out because I unfortunately can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so thank you for joining us, uh, Mark. And we also have with us Mr. Scott from Michigan, Canton, Michigan. How are you doing today? Doing well. How is everybody? I think we're all doing pretty good. So uh, nothing new and exciting, uh, except it's getting a little warmer. So. It is. Oh, it's always a good thing. It's uh, yeah, December is is right here though, so can't expect too much too too much warm weather for the rest of the month. Uh, Christmas coming up soon, so I'm excited about that. Uh, thank you for joining us, Mr. Scott. Uh, feel free to chime in and uh, participate in our great discussion today. So, uh, oh, Colleen is back. Uh, how you doing, Colleen? Hi, Michael. I'm doing good. Very oh, good. Hey, what's what's part. new with you? Oh, catching a cold, but. Practicing. That's about it. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so uh, I'd like to, you know, start the class by asking each student, you know, some goals, uh, and um, you know, first just getting an idea of what you guys are thinking of going forward with some ideas, um, some goals. Uh, so, like, where do you see yourself maybe five years from now or ten years from now, and uh, as far as the violin goes. And then after you guys each give me your feedback, I think I'm going to give you guys some recommendations uh, and talk maybe about some orchestra stuff, uh, maybe inspire you guys to um, kind of branch off into some other things someday. Um, but obviously it takes knowing more about each one. So 
Uh, let's start with Adeline. So, Adeline, tell me uh, just about your interest. You know, are you are you interested in orchestra? Are you interested in anything outside of just playing for yourself? Uh, tell me more about you know what you, where you see yourself in in like five years, ten years from now. Um, so where I live, there isn't any orchestra and so on. So, but um, maybe I want to play in our church. So we uh, don't have any violin there in in the music. So I. I really want to play there. Okay, yeah. that's great. Great goal. That's, I hear that quite often. Uh, it's fun to play in church. Uh, a lot of churches around here have orchestras. Uh, and um, There's definitely a lot of that participation here. Um, maybe there is some there that you just don't know about, potentially. Maybe not. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's a great goal. I, I've played a lot in church services, recitals and such. So it's a lot of fun. So thank you very much for, for your feedback there. Um, Colleen, so tell me about your kind of goals with the violin. Uh, are you interested in orchestra or anything like group sessions or anything like that? Um, actually, I think it would be fun to get together with like a few musicians like for little jam sessions or something like that. I don't really have any goals to play in orchestra, but maybe getting together with friends and playing for fun. That's cool. Yeah, and uh, we actually talked yesterday after the 30-minute class uh, about potentially maybe even doing like a recital on Google Hangout. That would be pretty neat. Um, so that's a, kind of an opportunity that I, I've thrown out there. So it's, it's not just, you know, the traditional ways, but we can always try to come up with new ways to, to do this and, and have fun with it. So, uh, you know, it would take, um, you know, you guys... Uh, willingness to play for others, but I was thinking maybe just having, you know, people in just the class hear it, you know, maybe, uh, we'll see, but uh, that's certainly an opportunity that we could kind of work towards. So, uh, very good, but yeah, groups are great. Uh, if you can find a violinist uh, that's near your city or or even uh, you can start doing the hangouts and find somebody and do ha uh, hangouts with uh, personally. I actually have a couple students uh, that are doing that currently that met through the hangouts. You could... Uh, do little jam sessions and kind of keep each other accountable and, and uh, have fun with it. So that's definitely a, a potential opportunity. Um, you know, if you look in your classifieds, uh, there's, you know, different teachers in town. You could call, you know, different teachers and say, hey, you know, are any of your students interested in maybe, um, you know, having them get together with another violinist and playing once a week or something like that? That's a good idea. I've, I've recommended that to a lot of students. So very good. Thank you, Colleen. Uh, Debbie, so tell me about your goals. I know you just started violin recently, so it's kind of new. Maybe you don't know about a lot of the opportunities out there. That's okay, but do you have any goals in mind? Uh, it doesn't have to be about groups or anything, but songs or styles or anything like that. I certainly do have a goal, and that is to, for my granddaughter and I to play with my son who plays guitar. Um, I want to eat country. Um, bluegrass, especially I want to learn how to improvise and not, not play the melody so much, but just play that, that beautiful sound that you hear in between when there's a little break in the, in the melody. I would love, love to learn that. Very good. Well, you'll definitely be on that road very soon, and uh, you know, the Fiddle Friday class is a lot of fun at 5 o'clock uh, every Friday, and uh, I'm sure you'll learn some stuff there, and you'll be able to play with your granddaughter very soon. So. Uh, you know, maybe in the future, you never know, maybe you'll join a group or orchestra or something like that. Uh, and one opportunity that I think is really great for students is um, little, little trios or little quartets, you know, forming. Uh, it's not that hard to do. All you have to do is, like I said, find a teacher in town that has students and talk to her or him. And, uh, you know, you could get a cello player, you could get a violist, you could get two violins, and you guys could just play, like, simple music. It doesn't have to be tough music, and you, and you don't even have to, like, uh, play, you know, really advanced stuff that you would perform or anything like that. It'd just be for fun. I have at least three or four um, sets of adults that meet every week, and they, they love it. They uh, enjoy performing and just playing within each other and just for fun. And there's no, like, standard of, you know, you have to be so good or practice so much. It's just for fun. So uh, there's a lot of other people out there that I'm sure are in the same boat that would love to do it. So if you guys are interested, uh, just let me know. I'll help you out through that process. But uh, Craigslist is a great way to find other teachers in town in your area, so uh, just contacting them, it's really simple to do and uh, could get you guys going uh, to, you know, start playing with others. Uh, Mark, so um, tell me some of your goals. You've been playing about a year, year and a half. 
um, are you looking to eventually play in like an orchestra or like uh, play with others or just more for yourself? Uh, I would love to play with others, but my goal is a community orchestra, like a, a, like a volunteer amateur group. I'd love to be part of that. Okay, yeah, very good. Yeah, that's definitely a great um, potential opportunity um, to play with others and volunteer. And yeah, it's so much fun playing an orchestra. I, I really miss doing like the the daily orchestra when I was in high school. I, I played every day in, in orchestra, and then I also played in the youth symphony back when I was in high school, uh, and then college orchestra and stuff. That was a lot of fun. You know, every day you get to see others that are playing the instruments and, you know, but make beautiful music together because uh, just the violin alone, it sounds great, but if you combine it with other instruments and other violins, it sounds so much nicer and so much better. And when you get that full sound, that final sound um, piece together, it just sounds so cool. If you, if you guys have gone to, like, a symphony concert, I'm sure you've heard, you know, beautiful music that can be played, you know, together as uh, with strings and obviously other instruments in there too, but um, yeah, just string string instruments just can make the most beautiful sounds uh, when put together. So very good. So we'll definitely help you through that, uh, Mark, and help you achieve that goal very soon. So I'll give you some suggestions for, um, here soon on uh, how to do that. Certainly, it takes you know learning a lot of the key signatures, uh, which is definitely what we're learning a lot in the classes. Uh, understanding how to read music, sight reading, stuff like that. Uh, but um, nothing is impossible, so some of you guys out there that are thinking, oh, I can't do this, or there's no way I could ever be an orchestra, uh, I, I'm i telling you, it just takes uh, time and, and just continuing to play the instrument. I've had a couple students that started with me about three years ago that never knew anything about music. They were in their 60s, and they started uh, with me, and now they're actually playing in, in groups or orchestras, uh, they really, really enjoy it. Certainly, they're just kind of starting out with it, and they're, you know, having to learn a lot, but uh, they're really enjoying it. So, it's certainly, anybody that's never even played before can eventually get to that goal. So, very good. Uh, Mr. Scott, um, tell me about your goals. I just want to learn how to play well, uh, then work with the, you know, doing duets. Um... As for being in an orchestra, yeah, as long as it's not in public, and I guess I'm not <laughs> camera shy, um, or audience, uh, but, you know, lear learning classical, Celtic, um, you know, that kind of music is kind of my goals right now. Very good. Yeah, just learning certain styles is something that a lot of people are, are kind of at. Um, there's a lot of different types of music out there, so just like being able to play all different kinds of music is, I think, a, a great goal and a lot of fun. Uh, you're not alone. Uh, most, I would say 80% of my students that are adults would uh, tell me very, very specifically that they never want to play for anybody else. So if you guys are like that, that is totally normal. Uh, you know, I think the more you play, though, the more you'll get more comfortable. Uh, not saying you ever will if you're really strict on it, but... Um, you know, I've seen a, a couple of my students that started that way, and they're kind of more, it, it, you know, eventually uh, build more confidence in the violin, and now they're, you know, they played in one of my recitals or something like that. So, uh, you know, don't, uh, you know, throw it out there. I mean, it's definitely potential someday, and uh, that's part of the, the hangout, so I'll continue to encourage you guys to hopefully do something like that someday, but I won't, you know, push it too hard. <laughs> Very good. So... Yeah, a lot of different goals out there, and if you guys are interested at all in just my suggestions more on, you know, how to do certain things, you know, achieve certain uh, milestone goals, just feel free to email me at rivertownviolin at hotmail.com. Uh, what's been really cool about these Hangouts the last uh, couple weeks is that we've been doing the class that goes that gets posted to YouTube, obviously, but then afterwards, we're actually opening it up to the audience, to you guys, to ask questions, so... Uh, we're actually getting students to stay at least a half hour after the class ends um, to ask questions and participate. So I highly encourage you guys out there that are watching this from YouTube to uh, join the Hangouts. And it's really easy to do. All you have to do is uh, visit my website at violintutorpro.com, and there's a very detailed instructions on my site. If you go to the very middle of the page, homepage, you'll see uh, a Google Hangout link. 
uh, it'll explain you know exactly what you have to do. And uh, it's free classes, and it's open you know for you guys to join and meet others and participate. It's been great. We're building a really great community of students, and everybody's getting to know each other and communicating outside of just the classes, and it's been a lot of fun. And obviously, I'm here to answer any questions you guys have. So if you're you know, confused on, uh, Mark, you said earlier you're uh, having trouble keeping your thumb curved. So that's definitely something I, I'd like to talk to you more about. Um, that's certainly something that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, but anything you guys are having you know, trouble with, you can express it to me and I can help you guys out because uh, I've heard it all as far as problems and issues and, and skepticisms and everything. So I can help you guys out through that process. And I highly encourage you guys to join the classes so you can you know, hang out afterwards as well. So that's kind of what's called the Google Hangout. Mm -hmm. Makes sense because it's, uh, it's got a nice little hangout for uh, the class now, but also afterwards. So, very good. Do you guys have any other questions uh, before we um, end the class and then open it up to you know any questions you guys have after the class? Yes, Adeline. Um, when I uh, want, when I um, practice to keep my knuckles up, I uh, got tense in my fingers. Mm -hmm. And then it's very painful in this area. What, what I can do against it, or it's just practicing? Yeah, um, I mean, you might be gripping the, the neck too hard. You might be, uh, you know, having too much pressure here. I see that often. If you ever see your arm kind of coming up like this, it means that you're using too much force. Mm -hmm. So really try hard to just stay relaxed. Um, there's nothing different once I put this into my hand as far as tension, as far as... Um, pressure, it's just placing. Mm -hmm. And then I mentioned yesterday that there's three steps to this. There's keeping the thumb level with the instrument. That's number one. Number two is getting the knuckles up high. Getting them up high. And then closing the hand. So there's three steps to that. And because you do that, basically it should create kind of a little gap um, down below. Right in here. But that's certainly not required. You want to be able to have a nice relaxed hand though so that when you shift back and forth you can do it nice and smoothly so that you don't want any sort of tension there. Uh, part of that is holding the violin properly here making sure that you're not relying on your arm to hold it because then you won't be able to shift. So make sure you're holding it properly here and this is very relaxed. There's no need to grab or be tight with even like you know the thumb, you should just have a nice little grasp, very light grasp, but it should be very flexible in how it, you know, it can move from place to place. So, hope that answers your question. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else before we uh, open it up to the chats, to the students to ask more questions? Very good. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I encourage you guys to get in on the classes. Uh, feel free to email me if you have any questions, rivertownviolin at hotmail.com. And tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be doing a great uh, beginner technique class, answering very specific questions about violin technique. Uh, Wednesday at 9 Eastern, uh, 40s over 40 class. Anybody can participate that's over 40 in the class. Uh, and then Thursday at 10 is our advanced class uh, at 10. We're going to be going over some uh, leave fifth position stuff on Thursday. So uh, let me guys know if you have any questions. Feel free to live chat me anytime. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.